Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing the Exorcist makeup. Um, I'm going to be like experimenting with different bits, like I've got some scar wax which I actually made out of flour and Vaseline and then I mixed some of my foundation in it. Um, and then I've got like latex and latex with latex thickness trout for all the cuts and stuff. Um, I'd recommend using a reference picture so you can get all the cuts in the right place. but. You can just follow along with me if you want, or you can just put them wherever you want, just make it your own, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to start off with the latex, with latex thickener. You don't have to use a latex thickener or even latex at all, you can draw it in or you can use um, eyelash glue if you want, because it just works the same really. So I'm just going to apply some to create a cut wound. So she has it, I feel like she has it on her left side. So. And be careful with the latex because it's got ammonia in it. So you might be very sensitive around your eyes. And also always take a patch test. The trick is with latex or even any makeup to be honest is that it's buildable so it's better to do a little bit and then add more on as you go because you can always take away if you just go straight in you know you can obviously like mess up so I was just just going little bit by little I actually have a smaller forehead than her so my cut actually looks significantly smaller. I feel like her forehead goes from the picture it goes a bit more behind. So yeah I'm gonna get a hairdryer and I'm gonna dry this off and make sure we don't put it on a really high heat. So it's not fully dry yet but I want to bring the cut in a bit smaller. Again you just build on what you've already done so I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit more. Always use disposable sponges when working with latex because it will ruin anything. When it dries, it will dry hard and you won't really do anything about it. So definitely don't use brushes with latex. I mean you can use them when the latex is dry, but not when it's wet because it will just absolutely ruin your brushes. And you can use it on like if you thinking about throwing them away but I would just suggest using a sponge so I just thought in sorry instead of um, just like blow drying it I might just like work on another cut not while it's drying so it's just like so much easier um, so in every single oh <laughs> in every single picture of the exorcist it seems to always look different but I think that's totally fine it to be like that. So I'm going to work on the nose which is going to be quite tough because of the ammonia. But I think the latex thickener has taken away the smell because I actually can't smell any of the ammonia right now. You can do the latex trick where you can just go over the whole space but then cut into it but you can just do whatever technique works best for you you can always take it off at the end of the day that's what's so great about makeup you can just take it off and just try again and especially with special effects it's so much easier because if you do body painting take it off it can smudge and whatnot so you want to be very careful with that. You can I would say just like practicing on your hand or even someone else because if like you want to go into a special effects career you're obviously going to be working on 
other people rather than yourself so it's probably best to practice on someone else rather than yourself which is actually I'd say a mistake that I've made throughout the years but it's fine because now I go to college I can work on quite a few people in my class so it's alright I really like the makeup artist on the set of The Exorcist because he was so like experimental, like he did the whole head twisting by himself and obviously it like helped but like it was his idea and I like the vomit and I can't remember what it was in her stomach, it's been a long time since I've watched the film but I think it was like a like a, a, a swell or something on her stomach that burst. Also, obviously, he did the whole makeup. <laughs> and his name is Dick Smith, and he kind of invented the art of latex layering, which is what I'm doing now. I don't know if he did it in The Exorcist. I feel like he did when I've seen pictures, but it looks like he is kind of using scar wax at some point but I'm not too sure because obviously makeup has advanced so much since then So I'm actually trying out some skull wax right now. I quite like the effect of the skull wax. And you tap it. and then it will go really sticky I mean you should probably use Prosade to apply it because Prosade is um, more for prosthetics and Spirit Gum is more for like prosthetics which are moustaches and stuff but you can still use both so now I'm applying Vaseline to my and I'm just smudging down the edges. The reason why I'm trying with both is because one, I want to try it out. Oh, oh no, no, it's the back, it's the back. <laughs> and two, so that it's accessible for everyone at home so they can use skull work. And later, somewhere to create this look. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side, and then I'll be back. I might actually thicken up these latex lines as well, and then I'll be back. Bye. Now we're going to add some tech. Well, I keep saying texture, but more. You want to make your skin look a bit translucent, so I'm going in with some yellow to sort of splatter it about face. You basically want to look ill. You don't want to look your best, let's just say that. Um, and as I said, you don't want to be clown white, so obviously adding the all these colours around makes you look more um, transparent, really. I'm adding now some blue. 
now I'm going to do some shading. So I'm going to get this sleek. I literally just grab any brown ever whenever I do anything. Like, I haven't got a favourite brown. I just sort of grab anything. Everything works for me. I feel like as long as you put enough work into makeup, everything will work. Like, you can make anything do. I mean, sorry, make do of anything. I'm going to go in, add some eye bags. I have really prominent small lines already, I find. I'm just sort of an experimenter with makeup. I don't really like having rules when I do it too much. And I just sort of go for it, like I don't even practice, I just... Well, I mean I do with like college because it's a bit like different because I have like exams and stuff, but at home I just go for it, which is probably why I'm not the best person to follow a tutorial because I just do whatever, I haven't got any structure or anything, I just do it. That looks a bit better. It's about like the contour was sort of looking like it was just contour face and that was it instead of blending all of it in together. Just bringing up some frown lines. Gonna add some purple. Oh, I've got them out. I love doing the mouth. It's super dry in there, but I really love doing it because it just adds so much to the look, I find. But the mouth now makes me look so much more dead than I did like one second ago. I'm actually going with some black because I feel like the eyes are just, they're just not doing it for me. Like, they're just not dark enough for me. My apology is that the um, lighting has changed. My camera is having a bit of a hissy fit, but it's hot. So I'm just going in with my cuts with red. I don't even know when my cut my cuts start and then when they finish. I really like this one a lot. I'll definitely be using more skull wax in the future. Okay, I'm gonna check on my camera see if it's alright and then I'll be back. So what I'm doing right now is I'm applying some red around the cuts. Now I feel like what, so what I've experimented with is that you should really di dilute the red a lot so use quite a bit of water on the red and then when you've got some on your sponge dip it back into the water make sure it's not like dripping though like a little bit of a dab and then go over your cuts and then afterwards I also go over with some powder and white so that it's even more diluted because it just looks good like that. I might do a 
cut on my neck but just with makeup so that I can show you guys how to so say if you so if you don't have latex eyelash glue or anything like that you might not not everyone does I'm gonna deepen the lines Oh yeah, so I'm going to do some cut reenactments. So, okay, my lips are so dry. What you want to do, go with a dark red. Make sure the end parts are thinner. Okay, so... I want to add some purple on my look. What one do we want to use? This one? Okay, so we're going to add some purple. Again, make sure it's a bit watery so you don't get like a crazy amount of pigment. I want to do the cracks in the lips so I'm just going to get some dark red and then so it's good that your lips get dry because that's why they crack you want to follow the line I'm gonna put some fake blood I actually made this fake blood myself. I made it out of flour, um, cornstarch, um, I don't remember, like red colouring obviously, a bit of yellow, just stuff like that, and cocoa powder for the brown, and then some black I think but you can get any like blood recipe online I'm gonna spread some blood around the cut as well as on the cut because I find that the cuts are a bit too clean So I'm going to do the teeth, I've got some black face paint and I'm just going to go in. So I think we are all done. This is a picture that I'm referencing right now. This one, I don't know if you can see that but it's a bit like me. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope you liked the video. I'm going to be now filming probably the intro to this video. So, um, yeah, let me know if you want to see any other like makeup tutorials or anything. I'm hoping to do like a zombie soon. And, yeah, bye!